racer, go speed racer, go speed racer, go! Oh, Roy Gervell wants you, oh so bad. You're not the only call he's ever had. And if he says he's gonna call on you, don't you know it's just the snowplow show? Cactus. So take the call from Roy Gerbell. Pick up that phone. He's on the air with the snowplow show. Pick up Roy Gerbell on the Snowplow Show. Cactus. 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 Hey there, you're listening to the Snowplow Show for November 30th, 2016. The very last day of November, and I think I've only done, what, like five shows this month? Maybe six? But I have a good excuse. It's been a crazy month. I got raided by the FBI, and half the month I was sick. That was awful. And then, you know, I was just so depressed about the presidency because I really care about politics and stuff. That bothered me so much. But the good news is that this month is officially over. And I'm pretty sure that means that things are going to get back to normal around here. I almost have a full working setup here again after having the old setup taken from me. And that is entirely because of you guys, because of everyone that supports the show. And a bunch of people have upped their Patreon donations because of the legal issues. And a few people even sent in donations and bought PLA books and stuff like that to try and help out. So even though this has been a crappy month, you guys have made it a much, much less crappier month than it would have been otherwise. And I appreciate that a lot. Thanks, guys. You guys are the best. Today's sponsor of the Snowplow Show is My First Broom. Not My First Broom, but that's the user's name is My First Broom. I don't talk about my first broom on this show. That's kind of personal. But my first broom has decided to accept full responsibility for everything that's happened this month. I know a few weeks ago I blamed it all on a high school graduate, but I think it's clear that it's my first broom's fault about this entire month. So thank you, my first broom, for supporting the show. If any of you would like to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.org slash cactus. Just $5 a month gets you access to the Hobo Sodes. Those are extra shows that I do every week, even though I missed a week or two this month because of the whole debacle. And you also get access to the videos for live shows sometimes when there is one. But most importantly, you're just supporting the show and making more shows happen. And that's the important thing. In today's show, we're going to do one last uh, batch of calls from that same neighborhood from the list that Eric sent me. He, uh, he apparently lives in this neighborhood and snapped pictures of his homeowner's directory. I noticed on one of the pages he blacked out a name and address, and I assume that that's his name and address, and I really want to figure out what that one is and just prank him. So that would be funny, but no, I guess I won't do that. But anyway, we're going to do that directory one last time. I mean, for now, anyway. I swear the next show is not going to contain uh, more calls from that same directory. I'm going to move on to something else, I promise. These calls were made on Monday. I was trying to put out a show on Monday, and that didn't work out. But I made all of the calls on Monday, so you hear lots of references to uh, what day it is, which was Monday, in these calls. I also noticed while I was editing that the audio cuts out occasionally. And I'm no longer using that old Vista machine, so I don't know why it's happening, but I noticed it at least three times. So if you hear bits of audio disappear, it's not your record skipping in your podcast machine. It's just some more technical difficulties over here that we can all blame on my first broom. Hello? Hello, Frank? Yeah. Hey, it's uh, Steve from the Homeowners Association. Hi, Steve. And, How are you? Hey, pretty good. I just needed to let you know that uh, we're going to be building a cell tower in your backyard. It's, a, what? it's a cell tower. It's a deal we have with Verizon Wireless and AT&T. They're going to build one of those oh, okay. large 100-foot cell towers in your backyard. Okay. And, and it looks like they're going to get started on that next week. So you're going to need to uh, move all your lawn furniture out of the yard permanently. And, you know, just any any gardens or flower beds or whatever. You might want to move those to the front yard or something. This is some kind of a joke, right? Oh, no, of course not. No, it's just a, a deal we worked out with Verizon Wireless and AT&T. They're going to put cell towers. Uh, well, I mean, just one cell, cell tower in your backyard. Well, what's it going to do to my property? Uh, well, you're not going to be. You're not going to have a backyard. 
Well, obviously, but, this is a joke. Why do you say that? Because uh, you, you can't do that. What do you mean we can't? We're the Homeowners Association. It's basically our yard. Uh, no, I don't think so. You're going to have a little bit of grass just kind of around the edges. But there's going to be like a, a building back there for you know all the switching equipment. And then there's going to be a large tower. It's about 100 feet tall. Mm-hmm. It's not a big deal. You'll still have a little bit of yard and you still have your front yard. Well, it sounds like a big deal to me. Um, well, it's not that big of a deal. You, you probably don't spend that much time out there, do you? Uh, quite a bit. H- how much would you say? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. I see. Well, what if we gave you 20 bucks a month? Cause we, for we, what? For having the cell tower in your backyard. It'll be like a rental fee. We'll pay you 20 bucks a month. Uh, no. Because, you know, we're getting, I, like, we're getting like 800 a month. So we can... We can go ahead and slip you an extra 20 or so. Mm-hmm. Well, that's very nice of you. Yep. But uh, I'm not, not really interested in that. I, I am interested in better cell service, though. Oh, you'll definitely get it. Mm-hmm. What about the one that's already built? Which one? Over by the marina. Well, that, that doesn't, that's, this is different. This one is, uh, you know, state-of-the-art, brand new. It's the mm-hmm. newest, newest generation cell tower. Oh, good. Yep. Also, when you uh, when you cook uh, microwave popcorn, you won't even have to turn the microwave yeah. on for it to pop. It will just start popping. Well, that, that certainly would be a, a a wonderful improvement. Yeah. Basically, as soon as you bring it home from the grocery store, it should start popping when you walk in the house. Mm-hmm. Well, I you know thanks a lot for letting me know and. Uh, no I'll be, problem. I'll be no. looking for the workers. Okay, yeah, should be uh, next this coming Tuesday, not tomorrow, but the Tuesday after. Okay, all right. Well, I'll try not to be. Uh, I'll try not to be away so I can watch them. Okay, yeah. Make sure you lock up any dogs or whatever, and just uh, get rid of your lawn furniture. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, thank, okay. thank well, you, Frank. Uh, uh, thanks. Yeah. Have thanks a, again. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. I don't think Frank's buying it, you guys. Hello. Hello, Penny. Yes. Hey, it's uh, Steve from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And, and uh, I just needed to let you know we've uh, we've fin- I don't know if the, anyone's mentioned it to you yet, but we finished up the paperwork about the cell tower we're going to put in your backyard, and it looks like they're going to go ahead and get started on that next week. They're going to start construction. All right. What kind of nut are you? What do you mean? Why would you call me a nut? Ma'am? Ma'am? Oh, what? I don't know what I did to deserve that, but it looks like her husband's cell phone number is on here, too. So maybe he'll be more receptive to the whole thing. This is Simon. Hey, Simon. It's uh, Steve from the Homeowners Association. From who? The Homeowners Association. Okay. And uh, I was just calling to let Steve you who? Steve who? Steve Dave. Yeah. And I'm calling to let you know that the uh the cell tower they're going to start construction on on that uh this coming Tuesday, not tomorrow but the Tuesday after. So uh you're going to need to uh clean clean uh you know any lawn furniture or whatever out of your backyard because that's where they're going to put it. What the hell are you talking about? Uh we're we're putting a cell phone tower in your backyard. It's going to be a cell- Oh no you're not. Uh, get, find some some somebody else to play games with, okay? What do you, what, why do you think this is a game? What are, what are you talking about? Oh, okay. Uh, maybe maybe <laughs> maybe this place is starting to uh, put out warnings about me. I guess. I mean, I, I only did a minimal of uh, pretending I was with the homeowners association in this neighborhood. Most of the calls were just me pretending that I was a neighbor, and I kind of hoped that that would delay them warning people about this. But maybe not, because. People seem to be suspicious today. Hello. Hello, William. Who's calling, please? Uh, This is Steve from the Homeowners Association. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, I was just calling to let you know that uh, we're going to be putting a cell phone tower in your backyard. Uh, We're going to start... Yeah, in your backyard. Uh, We're going to start construction on that next week. Yeah, who is this? Come on, stop fooling around. Fooling around? What are you talking about? 
said you can put a shell phone tower back in my backyard. Oh, we we just uh, here at the homeowners association, we just had a meeting and we voted on it, and we decided that we're going to put a cell phone tower in your backyard. You are, huh? and what are you going to pay me for my pro- for my property? Well, um, you, you won't have to mow anymore, so it'll kind of pay for itself. <laughs> Yep, it's it's, it's, it's pretty good. pretty sweet deal for you, really, when you think about it. Yeah, it is. Huh? And you still <laughs> you still get the you still get the. Really? Uh, this is Steve from the homeowners association. Yeah, where do you live, Steve? Uh, I live over on Columbus. Columbus, huh? Columbus isn't in there. Oh yes, it is. It's a secret street. We don't let the people like you on it. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a. Uh, Listen. You're wasting my freaking time. You're going to talk to me regularly, or you're going to just hang, uh, hang on here while I hang up on you? Yeah, I'll hang on while you hang up. Hello? Hello, uh, Andrea? Yes? Hey, Andrea. It's uh, Steve from the Homeowners Association. Oh, hi. Hi. I, I just called to let you know we've decided to put a cell phone tower in your backyard. And oh, in our backyard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna start oh. start construction on that um this coming Tuesday. You know, next week. You mean actually on our property? Yeah, it's gonna fill up the entire backyard. It's gonna be a a hundred foot tall cell tower, and then there's gonna be a small building next to it, like a shed, where that's where all the switching really? equipment, equipment goes. Yep. Oh, do we have any say about that? Oh, no, we we voted on it, and everyone decided the best thing was to put it in your backyard, because that's where everyone will get the best reception. Is this real? Uh, Of course, yeah. Why do you ask? (laughs) Good. Steve from the Homeowners Association is going to put a cell tower in our backyard. Oh, hello. Hello. Is this James? Yes. Hey, uh, I guess she explained to you. We're just going to start construction on on Tuesday for that cell tower. And where is it going to be? It's going to cover most of your backyard. There's going to be a small strip of grass around your house that'll that'll still be grass, you know? It'll still be part of a yard. But it probably won't stay green. I don't think so. It, it probably won't stay green, though, because of electromagnetic waves and stuff usually yeah, makes well, the grass all brown. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry, Thank what? You. We we got disconnected. That's weird. Let me call right back. Your call has been forwarded to an oh, automatic voice okay. message system. Jim, that- I guess they don't want to talk to me about the cell tower. Hello? Hi, Susan? Yes. Hey, it's, it's uh, Steve from the Homeowners Association. And uh, I'm just calling to let you know we're going to be putting a cell phone tower in your backyard. What? You know, you know for uh, one of those giant cell towers, uh, about a hundred. Yeah, over my dead body. Who is this? What? <laughs> Why would you say that? I said, I said, over my dead body. Who is this, really? Oh, my name is Steve from the Homeowners Association. Yeah, what? Steve, and I'm uh, Santa Claus. Oh, I, I must have the wrong. Records here. Hey. So, so shows here your name's Susan. Yeah, and what the last name does it show? What? Yeah, and what homeowners association is this? I'm with. We're, I I just. I is this Bob? No, it's Steve. Steve, and what is your last name? Dave. Steve Dave. Yeah, Steve Dave. You gotta say it. Steve like, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. And what homeowners association is this? Uh huh. And what is your position there? I'm the president, CEO, emperor. Bull! <laughs> Who is this? You're going to ask me again? You just asked me. Jeez. Yeah, uh, it's got to be Bob. He's the only one I know that'll do this. Well, I'm not doing anything. I'm just calling to let you know about construction that's going to start next week in your backyard. Okay, and, and exactly where is the location of the cell phone tower? It's, it's going to take up your entire backyard. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, it's, sure. It's going to be about... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't guess there's any... What did they call this? 
that thing when the government takes over your property. I can't think of the word at the moment. Uh, uh, How much are we getting for this, Steve? Oh, uh, well, we're getting plenty, but um, we're just going to give you like 20 bucks a month for it. Bob! What? Bob! <laughs> I'm, I'm not Bob. I'm, I'm with the Homeowners Association. This is my cute brother-in-law. I'm not now, that what cute. I what I don't understand is how you could show an out of area number because we know your numbers. I mean, you've called us as Jeremiah Wright. What? No, I'm, other... I'm calling through the phone system here at the Homeowners Association. It, it makes the numbers. I, I, uh, well, your what? brother is out exercising now, oh. and I've been home. He needs it. What weeping. A fatty. <laughs> I am too. I've been home weeping because I got the call this morning oh, no. from my kidney recipient's daughter that her mom is dying. Oh, that's terrible. From Alzheimer's. And Larry and I saw her. Thank God we saw uh, her in late October when we went down for the reunion. That was not. We drove on down to Savannah. And they said six months can't believe she's gone that fast. So where yeah. are you, Bob? Well, well, no, this isn't Bob. My name is Steve. From... <laughs> hey, stop it. <laughs> I just... Sorry, sorry to... You know, you know, yeah. ordinarily, I would have been using four-letter words, and I tell you, thank God your brother was not on. Well, you know what he did. Remember that time when you called... And you were representing the Democrat committee or the Republican committee or something. Larry called the FBI and everything else. When did this happen? Oh, come on. What, <laughs> Get what, off of it. Recently? Or? No, that was some time ago. And you were Reverend Jeremiah Wright or something. Oh, no. Th this sounds like just crazy family drama. I'm, I'm just with the homeowners. <laughs> You're the homeowner CEO, right? Yeah, I emperor. I like to call myself the emperor. Emperor, 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 emperor. Okay, when are you sending us this stuff so we can write letters to all our congressmen? Uh, I don't know. Just uh, I, I don't. That's abuse of power, and I wouldn't feel good about that. <laughs> We're ready to write them. I love writing letters about about injustices. Well, <laughs> I see. Okay, well, I don't Where know. are you, at home or at work? Yeah, I'm at home right now. I'm, I'm getting ready to, to take a lot of drugs, like just for, oh. for fun. For, for what? For fun, just for fun. I'm just going to take so many drugs. Oh, for just, fun. Okay. Are, 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 your, are your children there? Uh, yeah, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang out in the basement and just take a bunch of painkillers and <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> going to be great. Shall I, have, shall I have the man of the household call you about the location of this? Oh, could you? What is it? We got to figure if the tower is going to face north or, or, or east. We have to decide. Okay. Are you, you're going to be home this evening? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be home all day and I'll be really high. Okay. I'll have him call you. Okay. I can't you, wait. You... You brighten my day. Oh, I'm I'm happy about that. Give Larry kisses for me. Okay, I will <laughs> talk with you later. We want to come up there to see you. Oh no, you're not invited. Stay away from my house. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Well, bye. Bye. <laughs> Jesus, what just happened? Um, some some people just will not listen to me. They just don't believe me when I call them and. Tell them I'm going to put a tower in their backyard. I don't understand why. That was bizarre. I think I'm going to give up on this tower idea. I've been at this forever now, and it just doesn't seem to be working out. Uh, but I can at least finish up this page with tower calls if anyone else answers. I kind of I kind of thought people would believe this for some reason. I thought they would get upset about it and think it was really happening. But everyone just thinks I'm full of crap for some reason. I mean, we all need cell phone towers, right? Hi, Crystal? Hello? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, this is Steve from the Homeowners Association. Hey, how are you? Not too bad. I'm just calling to let you know we're going to be putting a uh, cell phone tower in your backyard next week. We're going to start construction uh, in uh, next Tuesday, so a week from tomorrow. Um, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> and yeah, just make sure you have the yard all cleaned up. It's going to take up pretty much the entire backyard. There's just going to be a small strip of grass alongside the house. Are you joking? No, not at all. But we can't we can't keep the grass there cuz you know the all the the, radi- the all the energy coming in out of the tower will probably set it on fire and that's a fire hazard. But it's going <laughs> to it's going to be like a 100 foot tower in your backyard and a small shed building next to it, you know, where all the equipment goes. But you're not Are allowed. You I'm sorry. What? Uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, what to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was gonna. Le- I was gonna tell you. Um, l- like you can't put any of your stuff in that shed, though. That's just for uh, telecom equipment. Joke. We don't have a shed. <laughs> no, no. We're gonna install one there for you. It's gonna be more like a building than a shed, and we're gonna keep a padlock on it, so you guys don't go in there. We're also going to need to uh, hook up uh, some air conditioning units into the shed. Um, do you have an outdoor plug that we could just plug that into permanently? Oh, I guess I, I went a little too far on that one. She seemed to be buying it at first. Then her husband was yelling in the background and she got nervous and just hung up real quick. It's all the husband's fault. Hello? Hi, Janet? Yes? Hey, uh, this is Steve from the Homeowners Association. Uh huh. And I'm calling to let you know that uh, we're we're going to be putting a cell phone tower in your backyard next week. We're going to start con- construction. I don't think so. Oh no, we definitely are. It starts on next Tuesday. Good. Well, and, uh, you you try and do it. Thank you. Well, no, we, we have permission. We we voted. We have permission from ourselves. <laughs> wow, that lady doesn't take any shit from anyone. She's probably going to meet them with a shotgun if they come out there and start trying to build a tower on her property. I'd hate for her to notice me if I'm laying out in her backyard in the middle of the night looking at the stars. That probably wouldn't end well. So that was the end of that page. I guess I'm just going to kind of quit doing the cell phone tower thing. I really expected some better responses from that. But I guess I guess we'll just uh, move on to something a little more realistic so they believe me. Hello? Hi, Kate. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, it's Roy. I live down the street from you. I'm your neighbor. Okay. And um, I was noticing uh, when I was throwing my trash in your trash can that you're not recycling proper properly. Like you've got a lot of carbon. What? I, I noticed uh, th- the other day when I was throwing my trash bag into your trash can. I noticed you don't recycle. Well, I didn't have a trash can out for you to throw trash into. Yeah. Well, no, last week. Not not today or what? anything. You threw trash in my trash can? Yeah, yeah, like last week. But I noticed that you're not recycling who properly. Are you? My name is. I'm R- sorry, I don't know who you are. Yeah, I'm Roy. I, I live over on Pelican. I'm, I'm your neighbor. You're Roy, and you live on Pelican. Yes. How can you be my neighbor? I don't live on Pelican. Well, you know, we're we. I live nearby. We're the same homeowners association and everything. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, but, I don't understand why you would have come all the way over to my house and thrown trash in my trash can. Um, well, because my, my neighbors, they, they know that I do this sometimes, and they told me to cut it out. So I just drive across the neighborhood. And, so you drive across and get somebody else's trash can. Well, you can cut it out of well, doing that on mine, too. Well, no, just yours. I only do yours. But that's not why well, I'm calling. thank you. That's not why I'm calling. I'm calling to say well, that you, you don't recycle well enough. You know. And, well, I, you know what? I'm sorry. Too you bad. Sh- you should be. You shouldn't apologize to me. You should apologize to the earth. Yes, sir. You're, Thank you. You're Goodbye. Killing, you're killing the earth with your terrible... <laughs> there we go. Finally, people are believing me now. Now that I've abandoned that stupid cell phone tower idea. Hello. Hello, Judy? Yes. Hey, it's Steve. I'm, uh, I live here in the neighborhood. I'm over on Pelican. Uh-huh. uh-huh. And uh, I just, I noticed when I was, I was bringing my trash over to your house to throw in your trash can, and I, I noticed that you didn't recycle as much as you should have. Like, there was a lot of things in your trash can that could be recycled that weren't. Yeah. And I don't know, I was just, just letting you know, maybe, maybe you should recycle a little bit better. You know, we're, we're all in this together on this crazy world, we gotta make it last. You mean in my recycle bin? No, in your trash can. It seemed like there was a lot of recyclable stuff in your trash can. 
But I went ahead and I pulled some out and put it in the recycle bin for you, though. When was that? Last week. I I, I bring my trash over into your to throw into your trash can uh, every week, a few times a week. So, so I don't have to pay for a trash can, you know. I've never heard of that before. Oh yeah, yeah. I just uh, I I I don't want to buy a trash can and pay the fees and all that stuff. So I just throw it in other people's trash. But I just noticing that. Are you, you, huh? I don't know uh, are you just joking with me? Oh no, I wouldn't joke about something like this. I, I just I, I felt like you should just um, maybe you you guys could recycle better to help save the earth. My recycle bin isn't out with my trash can. It's on two different days. I know, I know. What I was saying is I, I pulled stuff out of your trash can and then I brought it back on recycle day and put it in your recycle bin. That's a bunch of shit. Just saying. Are you kidding hey, me? Can you tell, can you tell uh, Ron to shut the fuck up? Because he keeps interrupting us. Who in the world is this? My, my name's Steve. I, I live, uh, I don't know, a few blocks away. I'm over on Pelican. Pelican's a lot further than a few blocks. Well, you know, just it's not it's not that far really. It's just kinda across the neighborhood. <laughs> oh my god. So, All right. Let me have your name and address. Okay. Uh my name is Steve Dave. What was the last name? But what do you need it for, though? You're not going to... Like, I don't even have a trash can for you to come over here and use if that's what you're going to do. If you're going to get me back. No. No. What is the last name? Uh, Dave. D-A-V-E. And what's your number on Pelican? Uh, 1683. Is this... Uh, look in the directory there. Is this... Um, April Fools, is that what it is? No. What why would why would you think I'm tricking you? Tell tell Ron to be quiet. Oh, Ron made her hang up. What a controlling Hello? husband. Hello? Hey Ken, uh this is Roy. I, I live um over on Pelican. I'm your neighbor. Yes, sir. And um I just noticed uh last week when I was using your trash can that you had a lot of stuff in there that could be recycled. Uh-huh. When I was throwing my trash in there, and I don't know, there's just a lot of uh, paper stuff and plastic stuff. In the trash can? Yeah, yeah, I was using your trash can. I was throwing all my trash in your trash can, and I, I noticed that you don't recycle very well. Why did? Why were you putting your trash in my trash can? Oh, I, I don't have a trash can. I don't want to pay for it, so I just uh, take my stuff out and throw it in other people's. But when... <laughs> When I see someone not recycling like they should be, I, I just feel uh, it's the right thing to do. I'll call them up and let them know. Well, I, th I, th I think it's pretty bizarre that you don't even want to use your own trash can because you can't. You don't think it's a good idea, but you want to comment to me about not recycling properly. Well, I just don't have a trash can. Well, you need to get you one. Well, I don't want to because instead I just I, I just uh, walk it over to a neighbor's house or. Okay, just well that's good. Late at night. Just, just keep on. Just bring it on anytime you want. Oh yeah, I will. I will. That's not why I, I wasn't calling for permission. I was just saying you should recycle better. Okay, Cause. well I'll 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 make sure that I do. Okay, because you know you gotta you gotta help the earth. You gotta recycle things. Where did you say, where do you say you live? I'm over. You on, live out here where we. Yeah, I'm over on Pelican. You're on Pelican. Yep. Okie doke, bud. Well, I appreciate you calling. Oh, you're welcome. Are you going to recycle better from now on? I doubt it. Why not? It's it's the right thing to do. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome, but you know, you really, you should recycle better. Okay, someone hates the earth. Hello? Hello, James? Hello? Hello, James? Yes. Yes, hi, James. Yes, who is this? Uh, this is Steve from the Homeowners Association. What homeowners? The. the f okay, what do you want? Jeez, don't bite my head off. Uh, I'm just calling well, to let I'm you know that. I'm in the middle of something. Okay, well you don't have to be. Go ahead. You don't have to be a dick about it. You know, I'm, I'm just calling to do my job here. I'm waiting. It, it sounds like you're just watching TV really loudly. 
That's all you're doing. Well, I think this uh, conversation's over. Why are we still talking? Oh wait, no, he was right. It's 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 over. Hello. Hello, Dennis. Yes. Hey, this is Steve from the Homeowners Association, and uh, yes, I just uh, I I was using your trash can the other day to throw all my trash into, and I noticed that um, you weren't recycling that well. I was throwing all my trash into your trash can, and I noticed that you're, you had a lot of paper materials and plastic materials in there that should have gone in the recycle bin. I'm just calling. Is that me? I'm just calling to tell you that you should recycle a little bit better. Oh. <laughs> you, you, wait, start again. Oh well, I was using your trash can to throw all my trash bags into last week and I noticed that you have a lot of stuff in there that should have been recycled I think you got the wrong number fella oh isn't this Dennis over on no ah shit who's this then well never mind who's this who's this I already told you who I am who's this yeah well good luck yeah I mean <laughs> you're up in uh <laughs> What? This is unbelievable. What's what's unbelievable? What part? Who the fuck are you? I already... Who the fuck are you to call me on my phone? Go fuck yourself, you fucking moron! Oh, don't don't be like that. Come on, I'm I'm still with the homeowners association, Dennis. No, oh, we lost Dennis. I I read his address to him. It's right here in the directory. I don't know why he says he doesn't live there. According to this directory, it says he's lived there since '92. And it also says he's from New York. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but this directory, it tells which year they moved into the neighborhood, and it says where they moved from. I guess that's for nosy neighbors that want to know where everybody's from and how long they've been there. So when they get in arguments, they can be like, well, I've lived here longer than you. Pretty sure that's why they do that. Anyway, I'm done with that idea, the whole trash idea. I've had enough of that one. I don't want to do it anymore. But I have some ideas here from Jody Antichrist. Hello? Hi. Hi, Cliff. Yes? Hey, Cliff. It's uh, it's Steve from the Homeowners Association. Oh, hey. How's it going? Uh, pretty good. I- I'm just calling to let you know that we're canceling Christmas this year for the whole neighborhood. Y- you're doing what? We're, we're, <laughs> we're canceling Christmas. It turns out Santa Claus isn't even real. Oh, they can hear you. <laughs> oh, are, are we on speaker? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, we we uh we got confirmation from uh, the home office, and they say that Santa Claus is not real. So we're canceling Christmas for the whole neighborhood. Hi, what did it say? You said canceling Christmas. Hey, can you tell those kids to shut up? We're trying to talk here. Uh, what did you say? I I said, can you tell the kids to please shut up because we're trying to have an adult conversation. So just about canceling Christmas. Yeah, yeah, I'm just letting you know we're we're not going to do Christmas this year. Santa's not even real. Who is this? This is Steve Dave from the Home Homeowners Association. Steve Dave, where the, where, where, do you, where do you live? I'm over on Pelican. Oh, what are you doing telling my kids to shut up? Well, they were being noisy and and very annoying and irritating. So I, I was just I wasn't telling them. It's your fault. You put us on speaker. I was just asking you to tell them to shut up. And then you're telling me Christmas is over? Why are you telling me this? Well, it's not over. We're just not going to do it anymore. It's canceled permanently. Like, we're, we're not doing it in this neighborhood. It's uh, We're going to make it a new rule in the homeowner's guide. What does that mean? Like, you can't put up lights or something? Yeah, pretty much, or presents or anything. Um, just it's... Oh, but i got to let you know. You ever tell my kids to shut up again? I mean, you're going to have a real problem. Just so you know. Oh, okay. Well, I, I mean... You don't they, do that. They were being, I don't know if you knew that. You must not have kids. They were being noisy, and they were talking back to me. Are you a father? Uh, no, no, I'm not. But okay, they, they, That's why you don't understand how offensive you just what you just did is when they're just kids having fun, and you tell them there's no Christmas, and then you tell them to shut up. Well, no, I didn't tell them to shut up. I told you to ask them to shut up. Okay, well, whatever. Like, you don't say, I don't even teach them the word shut up. Well, I'll, now they, they know it because you put me on speaker. Oh, okay. Well, 
okay, so this is my fault, and then you're telling me I'm glad you're admitting it. Yeah, Christmas has been canceled. I'm not admitting anything. I'm not condoning your behavior. It's ridiculous. Okay, well, your kids were being very irritating, so I don't think it's my fault. They're kids. You don't understand kids. It's obvious. That's how I knew you yeah. didn't have any. Well, if, if, I have, if I had kids, they would never be irritating. They would be against the rules. Oh, and well, what, I gotta write your name down. This I would tell not. them to shut up all the time. <laughs> what, what is your name again? But I wouldn't have to, because they wouldn't be like that. What is your name again? My name What's is, your name again? My, my name's Steve Dave. Steve Dave? Yeah. It's, it's all one word. I had it legally changed to just Steve Dave. Oh, okay. And where do you live again? I'm over on, on Pel- Pelican? Pelican, yeah. So, uh, are you the... What, how, who are you in the homeowners association? Uh, I, I just uh, I work here at at the office. I, I just kind of um, in, uh, rule enforcement and you know um, just it's the whole Santa thing. We 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 weren't expecting this. It just turns what's your out phone he's, number? he's not real. What's like, your what's your phone number? Are, are you telling me you think Santa's still real? What's your phone number? It's on your caller ID. No, it's not. It says unknown. What's your phone number? Well, the phone number is there though. I'm telling you right now, McFly. The phone number's not there. What's your phone number? Well, just look on What's a different phone number. Look on a different caller What's your phone ID number? box. What's your phone number? And, and my last name's Dave. It's not McFly. Come what on. is your phone number? Um. Okay. Well, it's area code six three. Okay. And they're still being kind of loud. You know, like is there any way you could just tell? Them what? To, can you just tell them to be quiet real quick? Complete a thought. I'm, I'm not. Six three three. What? I'm not saying the word shut up. I'm saying be quiet. If, Six if, three three. What is your phone number? No, it, it starts with, and then six three three. Six three three. What is the rest? What are the last four digits? You don't know your phone number? Well, I, no, I do. It's just uh, it's hard to hear you over what those annoying it? kids what that you it? have. Those annoying what kids, is it? kids of yours. What's your address again? Uh, I'm over on Pelican. Look, I don't know why you're giving me shit. I'm just letting you know that Christmas has been canceled. Don't has not idiot what's your phone number oh i'm the idiot you're the one that's not even a good father and doesn't know how to make your kids what's, be quiet what's your phone number i already gave it to you you're a coward pussy <laughs> okay so he doesn't teach his kids the word shut up but he can yell pussy in front of him that makes sense so that was an idea by jody antichrist sent me a list of short ideas in the comments on phonelosers.org and he has a bunch of uh, Christmas ideas instead of Halloween ideas. Basically, he's telling me to get with the times and stop doing Halloween stuff. Like, I regret jumping's dumb list from yesterday. Uh, hey, Roy. Rascal Ryan here. Hey there. First time voicemailer. Many, many years caller. Thank okay. God you finally got the stream back on. Jeez, it was some other voicemailer said that you had the stream down... You gotta go now. Thank God. What else am I gonna go to sleep to? I gotta have this. Sorry. Stuff. I gotta have this stuff to go to sleep to. Good for you. Good for you for getting this back on. Yay, me. Awesome. I'm the best. Awesome. Cactus, Thank cactus, you. bitch. That message was left 12 hours ago, so I'm glad that the stream is still working. Actually, on that last show, I fixed it during the show, and then later that night, it went down again, and I don't know why. Like, I know when I do live shows and I take over the stream so I can broadcast live stuff on the air on the Shoutcast stream. Like, whenever I would get on that and then I would turn it back on, sometimes it wouldn't come back on. I'd have to reboot the server, and I was really bad at checking that, so it would go down for a few weeks until somebody complained about it. But I haven't been doing live shows lately, so I don't know why it's happening now. I'm going to look into that soon and see if I can figure out why it keeps going down. But if it goes down, let me know. Send me an email or a voicemail and just yell at me and hopefully I'll get it fixed for you. Hello, Brad. I have a question. What do you hope to accomplish before you die? Bye. Before I die? Is that a threat, Mr. Unknown Caller? What the hell? I don't need people calling into the voicemail and threatening my life. But if that wasn't a threat, um, I think I've done everything in life already. You know, I got married and I had kids and I got divorced. What else is there? This prank show is basically my retirement. My life's over. This is just what I do now until I die. So yeah, life is complete. I've I've finished already. I finished early. I don't know what else to do, so I just make prank calls now. Hey, Brad. It's the Mailer Damon. Uh, Just calling to let you know that your forum's email verification is broken. What? Um, Love the show. Thanks. Bye. There's another message here from him. Let's see what this is. Hey, Brad. It's it's the Mailer Damon again. It's been about 20 minutes, and the uh, email activations are still not working. So I just wanted Mm. to let you know to get that uh, hobo server fixed. What do you know? I didn't even know the 
forums were still up. Do we still have forums? Let me let me go look at that. Phonelosers.org slash forums. Oh uh, yeah, they still exist. It looks like they're using some sort of a default theme on them. And I can log in, and it looks like uh, the last post was made in October of this year. So people are still there. That's weird. Why are you guys on the forums? Come on, it's 2016. Who uses forums anymore? But yeah, I don't know what to tell you about the forums. I, I know that I used to get a lot of spam on them, so I had to set up all this authentication stuff. And then my server crashed, apparently. the My host actually lost all of my data, and that broke a bunch of my websites, including the forums. And I put them back up, but I'm sure I didn't fix everything. So if you really want to get on the forums, just uh, send me an email, rbcp at phonelosers.org. And I'm sure I can go in there and manually activate your account. Or actually, wait, let me just look right now. I can I can go into the user list, see who hasn't been activated. Holy shit, there were three people that tried to register yesterday. Oh, and they're probably all spammers. Yeah, it looks like I get three or four per day of people trying to register. And a lot of them have Hotmail addresses. Here's some Russia addresses. And there you go. You're activated. You have an account now on the forums. Now you can talk to yourself since nobody else is ever on there. I hope you have fun. But I will try and fix that soon. I, I forget how it even all works. I know I had it hooked up to like Facebook and Twitter so you could use those accounts to log in. But I'm sure all of that broke when my servers died a few months ago. If anyone else wants to register on the official PLA forums, it's phonelosers.org slash forums. Even though all the real conversation happens on the Facebook group and on the Reddit. Hey Brad, it's Nico. Hey. I have an incredibly fucking awesome idea, but I will keep it under a minute still. Okay. Um, 41 so seconds. You, you succeeded. Um, give the homework to all of your listeners to go out with cans of, you know, those cans of fart spray and, and just go in line in the long Christmas lines and then just kind of like give the person behind them a dirty look yeah. or I'll try to blame it on the person in front of them. Why not? Something cute. Anyways, thank you. Love you, Brad. Ew, I'm cooties. just kidding. I don't really love you, but. Thank you know. God. I love your pranks. Bye. Thanks. Yeah, uh, fart spray, everyone. Everyone go buy fart spray. Maybe I should put a link uh, to fart spray on Amazon. I have a couple of them here that people have sent to me. And that stuff's kind of fun to mess around with. We've uh, sprayed it in elevators and stuff before. So I recommend fart spray to everyone. Everyone should buy fart spray and spray it in long Christmas lines and stuff. I highly recommend that. I think that chemical attacks on large groups of people is always a good thing. You know, what could go wrong? So get on Amazon or eBay, search for fart spray, and do what uh, Miko tells you to do. Brad, this is Alex Jones. Hey, Alex. From Infowars.com, by the way. Uh, of course. Listen, Brad, as you know, as you probably know, I am a fan of the Four Losers. Now, Why wouldn't you I be? understand the federal government, Brad, is after you. They have been after, been after me for decades. I have experience, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Now, what you need to do is this, this is a false flag operation, clearly. What they're doing to you, Brad? I've been through this before. I've had infiltrators. The federal government Illuminati is after me. What you need to do is go to Infowars.com. Buy a survival kit. You need to go underground. Are you saying I Divorce.com? I'm not talking metaphorically here. You need to buy at Infowars.com. Oh, Infowars.com. A survival okay. kit. This Sorry. includes Sorry. a water filter. I don't watch TV. Food for three years. Uh, Brad, 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 Before you say anything. This is very important. Right. This is the future of your life here, Brad. Yep. And the federal government knows what you're up to. And they're after me, too. Underground together, buddy. We're going to see each other on the other side after the, the apocalypse. The tunnels here, okay? under my house. All right. If we're stuck on. Alex Jones. Sign me up. All right. All right. Thank, thanks, Alex. Thank God I found that uh, hidden cave underneath my house that the FBI does not know about, and they'll never figure it out. I found the secret entrance to it just the other day. If, if you guys follow my Instagram, you would have seen it. But yep, I am way ahead of you, Alex Jones. I'm, I'm putting canned foods down there and everything. It's going to be great. Infowars.com, everyone. Hey, Brad. It's Brad. The producer. The producer. Yep. I just want to say I'm happy that uh, it doesn't sound like the FBI took your voicemail system i yeah. don't know how it works but i'm glad they didn't take it yeah they, they it's a uh, google voice so it's basically just uh, you know google.com slash voice it's all online they've been very nice about not taking anything offline for uh, me and or i'm glad that you replaced it uh, a couple of production notes for today oh, um shit. the the sad sentimental guy that you're supposed to play music for who said he wants to start becoming a regular caller mm -hmm. um i want to go ahead and, and issue my official approval as your producer <sighs> Great. Uh, for him to be 
a regular caller. Do I have to? Uh, maybe he needs some uh, sad music behind him for the next time. Uh, I don't know how much effort you're willing to put into it. Yeah, Probably done. Well, you know, I, I had more sad music before, but that's all in the uh, evidence room now, apparently. I've, I've got to make some more sad music backgrounds and stuff. Also, you need to stop being a hobo and uh, answering people's emails from October. That would be pretty great. Yep, I plan uh, to this no week. No Baba Booey today, because I'm at work. And if I started shouting Baba Booey, a bunch of Mexicans would look at me and wonder why I'm cussing at them. Yeah, you don't want that. they don't know English. Okay, is that a curse word? I didn't know that. That's not a curse word, is it? Hey, Brad. Like, a year and a half ago, I sent you an email for a prank call request, and you never made it, and I oh. didn't bother re-emailing it. So I'm if sorry. you're playing this on the air, just pause it for a second. What? No. What? Right. There's a place near my school called no. a Cactus no, Car Wash. It. Stop it. What are you doing? It. And because, you know, the whole cactus thing. Yeah. But I was hoping that you called them and pranked them and just say maybe, I don't know, you found a cactus in your car or accused them of washing your car with a cactus and scratched it, or you know, they left a car or cactus air freshener or something. I don't know. You can figure something out. I'll but do it. But it's the cactus car wash, I'll... and it's in... Jeez. Anyway, I'll help you call them, and good luck with the whole FBI thing. Bye. Bye. Thanks for the call. I'm sorry I didn't do your prank. Uh, please don't take it personally. I've There's so many pranks from a year and a half ago. I've got a email directory just full of them, prank requests, and I, I think I may get to them eventually. Possibly. I occasionally just, uh, you know, just jump all over the list and pull out random prank requests and do them. And it's possible maybe I did it already and it just didn't work out. It wasn't funny or they never picked up. Sometimes they just don't work out for whatever reason. But I will keep an eye out for that one when I'm jumping around the email directories and looking for something to call. Happy late birthday. I sent you your card in the mail. Oh, yeah. And I think I forgot to write something in it. Oh, God so damn it. it is a blank card. What the hell? With a cactus on it. What's wrong with and you? A sticker inside and oh, a really cool keychain. Well, it's got a that has braille on it. So, sticker. so that's all. Well, there's print on one side and braille on the other side. Feel free to re gift anything. <laughs> Keep whatever. Hope you like it. That's nice of you to tell me I can re gift things so I don't feel like a jerk when I actually do it. But thanks in advance for the birthday card. You're probably under investigation by the FBI now because you're sending me things in the mail. I hope they don't raid your house or anything. I think that's enough voicemails for now. There's still a few other recent ones, but I think this segment may have gone on too long. Not that that usually stops me, but I do need to do the thing where I play just, you know, a shitload of voicemails on the very end of the show. And hopefully that's what some people thought I was doing, and that's why the show's running a little bit longer than normal. So a bunch of people, they've probably tuned out already, thinking the rest of the show is just voicemails. But the joke's on them, because I have a few more pranks from Monday that I'm going to play right now. Hello? Hello, Lynn? Yeah. Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, I'm calling to let you know that uh, we're not allowed to to put any Santa Claus stuff out this year for Christmas. It all has to be Mrs. Santa Claus. Okay. You know, uh, after all that stuff in the news and everything, we just, uh, we can't... I I didn't hear anything in the news. (laughs) Oh, no, it turned out um, Santa Claus, he he was, uh, he owned slaves back in the day, and... Uh-huh. Um, he's he's very sexist and everything, and we're just changing uh-huh. everything to Mrs. Santa. Okay. So that's the official new mascot in this neighborhood, anyway. That's the new mascot for Christmas. Okay, I don't put any Santa Claus stuff on, anyways. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just saying, if you do, if you do, just remember, uh, Santa Claus owns slaves, so you don't want to support him. Oh, okay. He's very sexist. Okay. Says terrible things about women and children. Sounds like somebody I am. I think uh, I think he's president. <laughs> <laughs> but umch. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay. Okay. Well, just so you know, just uh, you know, let everyone know. Spread the word in the neighborhood. Okay. San- Santa Claus is an asshole. That's right. All right. Well, so uh, president. <laughs> no, no, he's Thank a, you. he's awesome. You, you don't know what you're talking about. Stupid. Okay. All right. Well, have a nice day. You too. Bye. Bye. This is the same neighborhood I was doing the Trump-Clinton thing in last week. If you're a supporter of the show, you would have heard that on the Hobo Sode last week, where I was calling up Trump supporters and saying, hey, thanks for voting for Clinton. And some people were getting upset about that. Here, actually, here's a clip. I'm going to play a clip for you, a small clip from the Hobo Sode, so you can see what you're missing by not subscribing to the Hobo Sode. 
you know, Steve, what? I did not vote for Hillary. Get off the fucking phone. You did I wouldn't vote. vote for that piece of shit. I wouldn't call you for if all you did. money in the world. I wouldn't call you if you didn't vote for Hillary. So I'm just calling to say thanks. I but... didn't vote for Hillary. Okay, well, thank you for being an idiot and not knowing how to vote properly so that you well, accidentally fuck, and voted fuck for you Hillary. for being an idiot and calling me. You should not have you should not be calling me on my on my cell phone. Anyway, I couldn't find anyone who supported Clinton. It was all Trump supporters on that episode. So I'm kind of surprised that Lynn was anti-Trump like that. I thought this entire neighborhood was Trump supporters. Hello? Hello, Marty? Who? Richard? Yeah. Oh, hey, Richard. Uh, This is Steve from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And I was just calling to tell to let you know that your uh, your chimney's too small. It needs to be bigger for Santa Claus. My my what? Your chimney on your roof, it's too small. Like <laughs> Santa can't I even I haven't put a wreath out yet. No, your chimney. You know the chimney that Santa Claus has to get through your chimney on Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, you need to <laughs> you need to install a bigger yeah. chimney for Santa. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm serious. It has I'll, to be done. I'll work on that. It's a it's the homeowners association rules and you're going to start getting a fine if you don't increase your chimney size. Oh, I see. Okay. You don't want that. No. Okay, so we agree. That's great. <laughs> what do we agree on? Uh that uh within 30 days you have to have your chimney uh made bigger. So that I'm not going to get the chimney made bigger. Well, no, it, it's uh, it's required by the homeowners association. It's uh, it's a new rule we're yeah. setting up. You have thirty days to get into compliance. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. And how Santa Claus going to come to your house? Don't be stupid. Come on. Some, some guy is just tell my wife who it is. Okay, hello, wife. Hello. Hello. Uh, th- this is Steve Dave from the homeowners association. Yeah. And uh, I was just calling to let you guys know you need to make your chimney bigger because Santa Claus can't get down it with it being that small. We're having a very skinny Santa Claus this year. No, no, Santa Claus is a fat ass, ma'am, and he needs a bigger chimney so he can get down the chimney. There's no well, such. I'm not getting one. There's no such thing as a skinny Santa Claus. No, I'm having one. Yeah, but he's probably not going down the chimney. Yours is fake. I'm talking about the real Santa Claus, ma'am. No, well, we we don't have the real Santa Claus. Come here. Well, I know that's because your your chimney is too skinny, but it's an, a new no. homeowners association rule. You have to make your chimney wider. I'm not going to do it. It has to be two feet by two feet. I think you should be able to make it down at that size. I think you have the wrong house. Uh, no. Do you live on court? Who is this? This is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. <laughs> I think, I really think you have the wrong house. Well, no, you live at f- court, right? Yeah, and we're not having Santa Claus. We can't afford them. That, that's what I'm saying. If you if you can just fix your chimney, then you'll have a Santa Claus. No, no, no. We don't have any money to buy gifts, so we don't have a Santa Claus coming. Right, but if you fix your chimney, then Santa Claus will bring you the gifts. But I'm not going to fix the chimney. You have to. It's a new homeowners association rule. You have to be in compliance. Every house has to have a chimney that's two feet by two feet minimum. And who's going to put the put the new chimney up? I don't know. You need to hire a contractor or something. Call up Roy Co. Roofing. Know, I don't know a chimney bigger maker. Oh, I I, I can recommend one to you. Uh, his name is Chad. He works for Roy Co. Roofing. He'll fix everything. I don't- I don't want a new chimney. Thank you very much. But, but you we'll don't, see you in the new year. You don't get a choice, okay? though. You don't get a choice. You have to make a bigger chimney. My choice is we don't get one. I don't care what you say. I, I know. Okay, I, now I'm said. in the middle of dinner. I'm in the middle of dinner. Oh, oh. And, uh, what, what are you eating? I really have to finish eating. Okay, what are you, I, ha- what are you having? <laughs> what are you eating? Spaghetti. Spaghetti, is it like, um, did you make it yourself, or is it like, uh, you know, like Hamburger Helper? I make it myself. Oh, nice. That sounds... And I'm, well, you should go eat. And I have to finish eating. Yeah, you should definitely go eat. So, yeah, I, I, right. I would go eat. Okay, okay. thank and you then, very much. And then when you're done, call some contractors and get that chimney fixed. 
Oh, sure. Okay. All right. Well, have a nice Bye. day. Bye. Yeah. Who the hell was that again? Oh, he kept a hissy with the chimney fix. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, their their dinner conversation just got a lot more interesting, didn't it? I hope they appreciate that I was able to do that for them, even if they don't believe in Santa Claus. Hello. Hello, Rhonda. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's uh, Steve from the Homeowners Association. And uh, I was just calling to find out if you had any leftovers from Thanksgiving. No. Oh, damn it. Okay. Are you sure? Not not even just a little bit? Yes, I'm sure. Because I'm really hungry. Do, do you have any, um, like, leftovers that it aren't from Thanksgiving? Okay, she's gone. Man, she was really grouchy. She didn't like that at all. That was another idea from Jody Antichrist. Apparently it's an awful idea. She hangs right up on me. Hello? Hello, Sydney? Yeah. Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And uh, I, we just noticed that you didn't leave any uh, Thanksgiving leftovers out on the porch yet, and you were supposed to do that by this morning for us to collect. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I, well, I, I know you haven't. Like uh, That's what I'm saying. You forgot to put your Thanksgiving leftovers out on the porch Yeah. in, in sealed containers for us. Yeah, we're, well, I'm, huh? They were all gone now. Oh well, you're you're supposed to save leftovers for us, for us to take home, uh, us here in the homeowners association. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I I didn't know about it. Oh, it's okay. Well, do you have anything else you could just give us, like canned foods or meat or sp- no, spaghetti? No, not really. Uh, candy. No, I'm sorry. Uh. Laptop. Maybe next year. Laptop computers, maybe? Uh, in Anything in your garage you don't want? No. Because, you know, you're you're supposed to, to give all your unwanted stuff and your food and stuff to the Homeowners Association so we can take it home. Oh, I see. I, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. You're, Thanks. Oh, you're you're welcome. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're supposed Bye. To, anything you don't want, you always give it to the homeowners association. It's like making a oh, sa- okay. it's like making a sacrifice to to the gods. Oh, okay. Like like we're like gods, you know. Yeah. So, bye. Yeah, you have to give us all your stuff. Okay, bye. I thought he was believing it at first, but I guess maybe not. Some of these people just have no respect for the homeowners association, though. Hello, Beverly? Yes. Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Okay. And um you you uh I we noticed you didn't put any Thanksgiving leftovers out on the porch for us in sealed containers. And uh, you uh, what? Uh, you're supposed to leave uh Thanksgiving leftovers for us out on the porch. Do you have any left still? No. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you're, uh, all the neighbors, they're all supposed to leave uh, leftovers for the Homeowners Association to pick up and take home. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm with the Homeowners Association, and you, you forgot to uh, leave your sacrificial um, turkeys and mashed potatoes and stuff, leftovers for us. You know? <laughs> my, name is, my name is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Well, who's this? <laughs> what homeowners association? And why are you calling us? I'm calling. I already explained it to Beverly. Uh, you guys are supposed to leave, um, you know, your Thanksgiving leftovers out on the porch in sealed containers for us to take home. <laughs> I'm not even sure who I'm talking to. Uh, yeah, that's because she handed you the phone in the middle of the conversation without telling you who it was. God, she's dumb. But no, you're you're supposed to uh, give all your Thanksgiving. Oh, she, he didn't like that. Hello. Hello, Bernie. Yes. Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And uh, I I was just calling to find out if you had any uh, Thanksgiving leftovers. 
Oh, no, why? Oh, I, I was just kind of hungry. I, I thought I'd see if maybe you had some. No. Who, who is this? Uh, my, name, my name is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Well, wh- where are you now? I'm at home. Over on, I live over on Pelican. So wh- why do you need leftover food? I, I was just kind of hungry. You know, like uh, my wife left me a couple years ago, and I, I just don't eat that, that great anymore. I, I just thought you might have some Thanksgiving leftovers. No, I'm sorry. We don't. We ate out. Oh, okay. Oh, well. I guess I'll just go hungry then. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Thanks for letting me go hungry. That was dumb. Hello? Hi, Laura? Yes? Hey, it's uh, Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Okay. And uh, I was calling to find out if you had any uh, any leftovers from Thanksgiving. Uh, what? If you have any leftovers from Thanksgiving, like any turkey or mashed potatoes, anything like that. For what purpose? Oh, we're having an office party here at the Homeowners Association. So we just thought we'd we'd hit up a few of the houses and see if there's any food for us to... You know, have food here at the party. What, what, which which homeowners association? Yeah, oh, yeah, we're just we're we're having kind of an office party here at the homeowners association, and um, okay, just thought we'd see if you have any turkey or beer, or anything like that, any drugs. We're, we're just you know we're just trying to liven up the party a little bit. Yeah, well, you liven it up all right with, the, with some drugs. Uh, is this a joke? Oh no, not a joke. And and I'm not inviting you to the party, by the way. We just we just we're hoping for some food. God. Well, that that lady seems to have had enough of her homeowners association's shit. I need to call a younger neighborhood with a homeowners association and do these same pranks, because that's a really great idea. Asking them if they have any food like that. Nobody seems to appreciate that at all. Let's try that one a few more times before I quit today's show. Hello. Hello, Marilyn? Yes. Hi, it's uh, Steve from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And uh, I was just calling to find out if you have any leftover Thanksgiving food there. Not really. We went to Diana's for Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Maybe I should call. She hosted it. I see. Okay, maybe I'll call Diana. She probably has some leftovers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're we're just having an office party here for the homeowners association. We just needed some free food. Oh, yeah, call her because she she suspected eight people and only four showed up. So oh she yes, probably does. pay dirt. Okay, okay, well, I'll try. I'll try over there then. All right, bye bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay. I don't know who she's talking about, so it's not like I can call over there, but it's okay. I think I'm done with that idea anyway. Let's just do a, a couple more here. I think I'm going to use some of I Regret Jumping's ideas from uh, the other day. There's a few more in there that I never used. Hello. Hello, uh, Russell? Speaking. Hey, uh, this this is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And... um. We ghosts in our house, uh, you know, at my personal residence here for a few weeks, and I just found out it came from your house. What? A, a, a ghost. There's there's a ghost that's been haunting our house, and it turns out it comes from your house. Like, we we uh, we you know brought a medium over, and and she told us that it came from your address. And you want me to believe this, right? Well, I, w- I want you to come over here and collect the ghost. I don't. I don't have time for all this. This is this is a lot of, a lot of trouble here. What? Why? Why are you laughing? This is a serious matter. You know, I, I shouldn't have to deal with this. It's not even my ghost. It came from your house. <laughs> and this isn't even April Fools. No, it's it's not. I'm completely serious, sir. I I just. If you could come over here and, and get this ghost to come da- back to your house or go into someone else's house, I don't care. I just don't want it here. And you're where? Uh, I'm over on. I'm at um, 
913 Pelican Drive. And he traveled all that way, huh? I, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Did you maybe give it a ride over here in the car or something? <laughs> Is this somebody I really know or what? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, well, maybe. I mean, we probably met him. This, my name is Steve from the Homeowners Association. <clears throat> You're from the Homeowners Association? Yes. Hmm. And what position do you hold with the Homeowners Association? Oh, I don't have to tell you. That's, that's my own business. You don't have to? Oh, it, I see. It's kind of a secret position. You know, I, I do, like, security and stuff. I'm not allowed to say, really. Ah, uh, okay. But, no, I, I don't know if, like, maybe I did something to make you guys mad at me, but I don't think I deserve a ghost in my house. <laughs> well, i tell you what. You give him directions, and you send him on over, okay? Okay. Is he going to listen this time? Because he's been kind of an asshole about the whole thing. <clears throat> All righty, then. Well, like I say, you give him directions, send him on over. Okay. I'll do that. I'll try. But yeah, okay. if, if it doesn't we'll work, if it doesn't work, you have to come over and do it for me. <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll talk to you later. All right. Bye, Russell. Ooh. I don't know why I said I'm with the Homeowners Association on that one. It seemed unnecessary. I'm going to end up making this list die a lot quicker if I keep doing that. Hello? Hi, uh, this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Okay. And, well, hey, you know, you don't have to have an attitude about it. Excuse me? You don't have to act like that about it. I'm just telling you who I'm from. Okay, I'm just saying okay. Oh, well, you said it kind of like in a... Kind of, kind of a, you know, a, not a nice way. You know, <laughs> well, excuse me for that. I just don't know who you are. Your homeowner association from what homeowner's association? Well, from the local one. But from, I'll do, you know what? I'll let you know. I'll uh, give you off to my husband. Maybe he'll be nicer than me. Oh, I hope so. Because, oh my God, you're horrible. Hello. Hi, uh, Doug. Yes. Hi, it's uh, Steve Dave from the homeowner's association. And um, what? Tell me a little bit more. What homeowners owners association are you from? I, I guess you're going to do it too, just like your wife did. I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't know you. You're calling me. You have a phone number that says out of area. You guys so. are, are very suspicious people. I mean, I'm just calling to make a routine call here, and you guys are, you know, just giving me crap. I don't know what the problem is. I'm sorry. Uh, what is it? that you're calling for. I'm calling to find find out if you have any uh, leftover Thanksgiving food there. No, we, we don't. Shit. Okay. I was really hoping you did. We're, we're having a party here at the office and we needed some food. Sorry that didn't work out for you. All right. Well, I'll just, I'll call the next person on the list. Bye. If you guys are going to be jerks and pretend you don't have food. Oops, I accidentally reverted back to uh, Jody Antichrist's list. Okay, that's it for today's show. I'm ending the show right now. You can blame My First Broom for me ending the show right now. It's all My First Broom's fault. Thank you, My First Broom, for being a sponsor of today's show. Thank you once again to Eric for sending me homeowners association numbers. And I guess thanks to I Regret Jumping and Jody Antichrist for some ideas that I used today. Since my dumb cell phone tower idea didn't work out that good. But maybe we'll try that one in a different neighborhood someday with a younger crowd. Some people that are a little more hot-headed than these old people who just think that I'm awesome and laugh a bunch and think that we're best friends. Hey, what was up with that old lady from earlier in the show? She um, said that um, like a couple years ago I was making prank calls to their neighborhood. I think she thought I was Bob and I was saying I was with the Republican Party and they called the FBI on me. But this it wasn't me. I've never done that before. And she said this happened a year or two ago. So that's a weird coincidence, seeing as how I was doing that earlier this week on the Hobo Sode. Or was that last week? I don't remember. But apparently someone in her family uh, does prank calls just like me to the neighborhood. I feel like I'm one of them. That lady was awesome, by the way. I mean, I felt bad about the whole kidney thing, but she said I brightened her day, so hopefully that was true. And I think everyone that listens to this show should strive to be like her when you're like 80 or 90 years old. You probably won't be as cool as her, but you can try. That's everyone's homework assignment for this episode. I mean, besides the fart spray thing, your homework assignment is to be really awesome when you're 80 years old. Don't forget to do that, because I'm going to be checking on you guys in a, in a few decades. 
be looking for a new episode later this week, hopefully at least by Friday, and hopefully it won't be Homeowners Association calls again, because I'm sure after three episodes of this, you guys are getting kind of bored with it. I know I am. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks for the support. Thank you, My First Broom, for sponsoring the show today, and I will see you guys later this week. When I fall asleep and my thoughts start to roam, I imagine that I'm back upon my home. 